pretty exciting as well. Yeah, I mean the forecast. I mean I've never really. I've been. It's been ten years since I've been to Haiti, so I really you know, don't know what a good fo good fo forecast looks like. But um, yeah, what I'm hearing, this one's pretty good. So pretty excited to get get some waves. It's um, been a while since I got some barrels, so pretty excited. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it feels like it's been a while since it, um, we've seen a swell like this for there, like it's probably been at least a couple of years, so um, yeah, I'm excited to get into it. Yeah, it could, I've never been there before, so it's, it's going to be interesting. Owen said it's a pretty fun wave, but uh, yeah, it's, it's going to definitely be uh, challenging, <laughs> should be fun. Yeah, it looks amazing. I went last year though and it looked like this and it was pumping but it wasn't as big as I would have hoped. Was it that day that you surfed it? Yeah. Does it look like this? Nah, it looked better. This one looks bigger and it's two days too. That was like a quick up, quick down. Yeah, it looks like there's going to be some good swell and good winds and that so pretty pumped here. Yeah, watch everyone get some good tubes and mix it. Yeah, get in there and try to get some barrels and have an amazing time. Yeah, well, I'd seen a couple of photos on Instagram that Laird, I seen a photo of Laird rocked up, so, and Dorian was frothing, so, when them guys kind of rock up to a place, you know, that it's, uh, you know, it's a real deal, and it's going to be on, so, yeah, we just prepare ourselves and get ready, and, yeah, fasten the seatbelt, and, yeah, get it going. Uh, I was talking to Laurie and Dill, and had a look at it, and it just looked like, uh, too many days of good waves, so I had to get some money together and come over. So it's um, uh, first swell of the season, so it might be pretty crowded, but it's lucky that there's a lot of days of waves. So hopefully, if everyone's chill, put your time in. I can I can get one or two or three. <laughs> On the road again, yeah, this is pretty exciting. Uh, I think there's a biggest accumulation of Australia's best big wave surfers that have just turned up with a, a, a few assorted young boys that are going to really, really step up and prove themselves. So, uh, pretty exciting forecast, anyway. I would say it looks just shy of a code red. You know, it's not going to be as big as code red, but if it's it's certainly going to be one of the one of the best swells in the last two years. So, uh, yeah, should be should be interesting, and quite a few days of it. So. I'm going off a of hearsay, but the hearsay is pretty fucking. You know what I mean? There's a lot of hearsay. I'm a bit anxious, but uh, it's always pretty exciting to come in and when everyone's on your flight, you kind of have a feeling that something will happen, so just open for the experience. You know, it's it's uh, the best surfers in the best wave and I'm sure they got the best boards and you're going to see them with some of the best rides ever go down, so I mean, Laird, Shane, Thordo, I mean the list is too long, so. The best guy, they gonna be here. So, what you expect with the best waves, the best show in the world? No. The whole world is here, Mr. Beniathan. Literally, I, I'm sure everybody said I've never seen so many incredible surfers in one spot. So it's obviously gonna be good. Yeah, the forecast is incredible. There's two to three plus bumps over the next week. Um, I've never looked at staying here for seven days straight. Usually it's a one day affair and then it's over. You know, you might get the back end of it the second day, but yeah, two to three swells in one week is unbelievable. And all, of, you know, around 10 feet or bigger, which <laughs> pretty insane. And uh, I'm sure the center is Chopo. So the boys are gonna be going mad. And uh, it's gonna be exciting when you have this many people at one of the world's best waves on one of the best swells in a very long time. We're gonna see some historical stuff go down for sure. We'll, uh, we'll see if that really happens when the monster shows its teeth. Because <laughs> there's no other place like this, so I guess if you wanna test your limits, this is the spot.
I think, you know, Code Red got so much attention and this swell is looking pretty similar to it, so it's grabbed all of the big wave world's attention because everybody wants a piece of that. That's where it's at right now. Guys are willing and able to really get into anything with whatever equipment from tow boards to paddle boards. So I think we're going to see the array of surfing go down with some incredible wipeouts and some freaking rides of a lifetime. I think you're going to see a lot of people taking more chances on the swell. It's just kind of like the way all this paddle stuff's been pushed for so long, pretty much everybody who's showing up for the swell is like showing up knowing that they're going to have to really do something different to kind of stand out of the pack if that's what they're here for. There hasn't been a swell over 10 feet down here in 21 months. So that's what, 21 paychecks? Guys are just squirreling away their money, just saving their little stash and voila. There's about 50 guys here for this one. Love and life. We just got here. Uh, excited. Don't know what's going to happen like usual, but I'm going to give it a go with all my best friends. There'll be tons of waves, but it really, you know, just as well as anybody, it's all about that one giant crazy wave. I'm, I really hope a Tahitian gets it because this is their spot and they deserve it more than anybody. And my partner's Tahitian, so maybe I'll get the second one. And to me, this is more like a gladiator pit. You know, the surfers being the gladiators, the media hyping it up and judging everybody, their Caesar, whether it's or and you know, we're gonna get thrown to the lions and I just hope everybody comes out safe.
Epic day. Any day you survive Chopu is a good day. Come up cough and blood first wave, but still sweet, which is good. Didn't even slightly get the wave that I was looking for, but boy's got some sick ones, so I'm happy. I don't know, as good as it gets. Some of the best surfers in the world in big wave surfing. Some of the most amazing waves, anything from, oh, I don't know, there's too many outstanding rides to, to remember, really. It was a pretty, uh, pretty epic day from, um, yeah. It's been a full day of barrels and rain squalls and yeah, it's 
pretty hectic. I think uh, Richie just went from like five rounds in the cage <laughs> to five rounds at chase. Five rounds of chase. I don't know back. which is worse. One week. One week. No rest for Ricky. No, it was good. It was pretty. Uh, I don't know. Pretty amazing. Spending you know with your best mates in ways like that. It was a good day. Everyone got barreled. No one too hurt. I think one 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 of the boys had to get rushed off to hospital with a few stitches in the head, but. All in all, for what was going down out there, it was pretty lucky, so yeah, staked on a good day. Oh,